All right, first off, <clears throat> for the second part of our ratio stuff, we did unit rates the other day uh, where we made something out of one. So in this case, we would have either made it one pencil or one eraser. <clears throat> We're going to do something else with, uh, or a different method this time that will work for some different kinds of problems. Uh, we're going to do ratio operations. And ratio operations just means we're gonna, either going to add or subtract, we're going to multiply or divide, and we're going to talk about how that works. <clears throat> it's really not that difficult and actually ends up being pretty intuitive as far as uh, it should make a lot of sense, I think, as we move along. This is going to seem kind of complicated, but once we get started, I assure you that it's going to be pretty easy. Uh, first of all, if you add or subtract in a ratio, um, you're going to go either up or down, add or subtract, by the number that uh, is stated. So like two pencils to five erasers, if we were going to add on to that, we would add two pencils uh, in this column every time, two every time, and we would add five erasers in this column every time. Or if we wanted to go backwards, we would take off two pencils uh, and take off five erasers, take off five erasers. Okay. That's if you're going to add or subtract. If you're going to multiply or divide, um, whatever you do, you just do the same thing to both of the numbers. So if I wanted to multiply it by 3, I would do 2 times 3 and 5 times 3 to keep the ratio the same. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to do this first problem a couple different ways here. Uh, if I know that every two pencils is 5 erasers, Okay, for every two pencils I have, I have five erasers. How many pencils would I have if I had 35 erasers? We're going to do this a couple different ways. I'm going to flip this around here, hopefully to make it a little bit easier to see. Um, I'm going to just get a little chart going here where I've got uh, pencils here and erasers here. I'll just do the P for pencils and E for erasers. Okay. Um, and our ratio starts with 2 and 5. And if we want to add on to this, we know eventually we need to see how many pencils it would be if we had 35 erasers. So to add on to this, uh, the next number would be 4 here and it would be 10 here. We're just going up by this amount right here. Okay, uh, Going up by 2, going up by 5. Okay, I keep that going. Uh, I could go up by another 2, which would be 6, and another 5 here would be 15. Okay, uh, I could keep going. 8, 20, uh, 10, 25, 12, 30, and then finally 14 and 35. Okay, That would be uh, a good way to get this accomplished okay just keep adding on by those amounts that's perfectly fine okay now I'm gonna back this up a little bit here okay we know the answer is gonna be and I'll just write this up here we know it's gonna be 14 to 35 okay but I'm gonna back it up a little bit I'm gonna back it up to where we got 4 and 10 okay now instead of counting by 2 each time and counting by 5 each time We've got a new ratio here. We've got 4 and 10. We could start counting by these numbers. Okay, Then we wouldn't have as many to count by. So we could count by 4 in this column, which would be 4 plus 4 would be 8. And we could count by 10 in this column. Uh, 10 and 10 is going to be 20. We could do it again. We could do another 4 and another 10. Another 4 would be... 12 and another 10 would be 30 okay now we've kind of got ourselves in a problem here though because we know that this number has to end up being 35 and if I add another 10 to this I'm going to get 40 so I'm going to be all the way up here so we need to think of some other way okay um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm going to clear off the circle on here because I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to go back to using my two and five. Okay, so if I add five in this column, thirty goes to thirty-five. 
then I would have to add 2 in this column because the 2 goes with the 5 to make it 14. So my final answer would be 14 35ths. Okay? That's another way to come up with your answer that works just fine. Okay? Um, one other way I do want to show you here before we move on. Let me get you back to the very original one here. Okay, We're going to do something with multiplication here. Okay, Now, we know that this column needs to end in 35. And we can do it in a real quick step. If we can find something that we can times 5 by to get 35, uh, that's basically all we're going to have to do. Uh, and I know that 5 times 7 is 35. Now, if we look back to where we talked about with our multiplication rules over here, or division, um, with multiplication and division, you just have to remember to do the same thing to both of the numbers. So if I times by 7 here, I've got to times by 7 here. And 2 times 7 is 14. So my final answer would be 1435, okay? which is what we came up with to start with. So there are countless, countless ways to do this. You just really have to be flexible with it. Whenever you make a new ratio, uh, like after this we made, the last time we made 4 to 10, you can count by that number. You can also go back to counting by the number you had before. Any ratio you get, you can count by. If we needed to go a higher number for this one, now we could count by 14s in this column, and we could count by 35s in this column. That would be fine, too. Uh, multiplication and division uh, make it nice to go up and down a little bit quicker. You just have to remember to multiply and divide both columns by the same thing. Now, before we quit this one, I want to check and make sure we were right. Okay, And we talked about this a little bit in the unit rate section. Okay, We know we started with 2 to 5, so I'm going to put 2 to 5 here. And if our answer is right, 2 to 5 should divide out to be the same thing as 14 to 35, because they should be the same ratio. So I'm just going to take my calculator, and I'm going to do 2 divided by 5, and 2 divided by 5 is 4 tenths. Okay. Now on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do 14 uh, divided by 35, and they should come out to be the same thing as long as we did everything correctly. And on my calculator, it does say 4 tenths. So if they're both 4 tenths, we've got an equal ratio. Uh, so the chances of this being correct are pretty good. So back to our original question, uh, if every two pencils we have 5 erasers, if I have 14 pencils, I now have 35 erasers.